everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I watched a bunch of videos of um, people that commented, but then I went on to things that I'm interested in that's kind of off the beaten path. And what it was is I wanted to watch, well first we'll tell you what I did. I First I clean the kitchen. The kitchen really needed cleaning, so I watched the I listened to the Clutter Fairy as I'm doing that. She talks for about 40 minutes and they have really good ideas about how to get rid of clutter and what is clutter and how do you determine what should come, what should stay and what should go and, and they talk. It's quite interesting. I don't know if you've ever watched Gail Goddard, The Clutter Fairy. That's the one I watch. And I also cleaned the computer room and I pruned my plants because my plants are really getting huge and they really needed to be cut back. And um, I, Jim took out the bucket of dirt that I had in there because I did have a thing of dirt because last year I tried to plant my um, pepper plants again and see if they would last and they didn't. So this year I just took snippings from the tomatoes and I stuck them in the ground and I did that because Lynn from My Goat Shed Life, she did it and it actually rooted and I think I've got one that's rooting, maybe two that are rooting, I'm not sure. And then I was going to do, and I still haven't done it, I better do it soon because we haven't had a frost yet, is I want to get the um, sweet pepper. I want to put a, a snipping of that in in some dirt too to see if that will root and rob from oh gosh I'll have to put his name in I, I Rob I'm sorry I, I, I will it will be across the screen <laughs> I, I can't know. remember he had he had a different name at one time and now he's got a new name and it's and I just know who he is when I see the when I see the little icon I know who it is okay well, anyways, he put sweet peppers in and the, and, root, and is rooting them. So I'm going to try that. I still haven't done it. And I said it a long time ago to him that I was going to try it, and I still haven't done it. I just got to do it before the mm -hmm. frost comes, because once the frost comes, I'm, I won't be able to do it because the plants will die. Let's see. On the ivy that I cut off. I My ivy was so big, so long. And it's a kind that will actually not die in the winter. It will root itself. So Jim took that ivy and he put it around my wishing well. And hopefully it's got enough time to where it can start to root itself in the ground. Because what it does is it, it will just start rooting uh, the way the ivy is. You just lay the piece down and the, and the roots will find the earth. And it's been raining today, so the ground is nice and moist. So it's probably a perfect day for it to do that. I watched um, Farmer Mima. Um, I don't know what if she's got a different name. I'll have to put hers across the stream too. too. She was talking about how menopause has affected her brain. And it's true, menopause is... Uh, real thing. It, it affects us all differently, but it can start very young and it can start a little later in life and the average I guess is 51. Some are younger, some are in their 30s, which I feel so sorry for you if it's in your 30s. And others go past the 51. I was one of the lucky ones. I was like 57. So I was pretty old, but that's that's the way it goes. And she was talking about getting pimples Thank goodness I don't get the pimples. Some people start to get um, lose their hair. I actually wore my own hair today. Notice my own hair. I, I'm getting thinner here in the front, but it's it's real white in the front. It always has been real white in the front. But um, she was noticing that she gets the pimples and her skin feels rougher. Well, eventually your skin feels really soft. And some people get facial hair. Some people don't. I don't. Have it, and you all age differently. Some of us will droop, and some of us will get real wrinkly skin. Where you, when you, you look and you've got lines galore. I'm, I'm a drooper. <laughs> <laughs> I will get the little jowls, and I don't know how they, they, they used to have a head, head thing that you could connect by your ears, and it would pull it up, and it would 
make this the jowls go away. But uh, that was okay. And then I also watched about nose and mouth breathing. Are you a mouth breather or a nose breather? You can put that in the comments, what, which one you are. But anyways, it was the reason I was looking up that is that we need nitric oxide that helps us to alleviate some of the menopause things. And if you are a nose breather, you're getting more of that nitric oxide. Your then body it, is creating it. Creating it, yeah. In the nasal cavity. In the nasal, because, and, it, and the nose actually filters a lot of things that you would not believe it will filter. So if you're afraid of the blue bugger that's out there, breathe through your nose, and you know you've got all those little hairs in there that like to filter. It will filter that stuff, too. It's the most effective filter that there is. Yes, it is. So that's what I was doing today. I watched a lot of things that are helping me learn. And, um, yeah, brain fog is a thing with menopause, too. So when we have brain fog, it's a true blue. It's true. It happens. But some people get it more than others. And I also was watching about how um, women need more estrogen because the estrogen is, is what we're lacking and the Mediterranean diet is truly the one that they suggest. So guess what? <laughs> I'm going to eat different than you. Jim is eating mm -hmm. keto style stuff. I need more cruciferous. cruciferous. More, yeah, and I, and I need more of the um, Mediterranean foods and yeah, more of the lentils and the split peas and the fish and the things like that I should have. So I guess that's what I'm going to be eating more of. And as far as weight gain goes, yes, weight gain comes along with this. And I, when I was watching Farmer Mima, she was talking about how she can just look cross-eyed at food and she gains four pounds. Or she could eat something one day and it does nothing eat it another day and she's gaining four or five pounds with it. So our bodies are kind of confused. They don't know what they want to do. They don't know if they want to hang on to the fat or let the fat go. But most of us are finding that it's hanging on as you get older. So that is my video for today. And what? I have a question for you, you though, have, what's on your, the... your nose breathing. Oh no. <laughs> what else is nitrous oxide used for? I don't know. It's what dentists use for, as a anesthetic. Its co common name is laughing gas. Laughing gas? Oh, well, I, you, I've never had it from the dentist. No, but it, it gives you a feeling of euphoria and relieves pain, which is another reason that you want to breathe through your right, nose. Right, true. It, it, it relieves it helps stress. You. you know, and they also said if you hum... helps because it helps clear the sinuses too and eventually you you will get over whatever ails you so just hum mm, goodbye <laughs>